Well, chances are you have one of these. Nearly two thirds of Americans have a smartphone of some kind. But the big question is, how safe is your phone? Yeah, 27 First News Weekend anchor Matt Horn went searching for answers. He explains how lobbyists have prevented several states from warning you. In our daily lives, sometimes pausing to look at the health risks of things you use on a daily basis go by the wayside. I have to. I, I have to use it. Danielle Morabito is talking about her cell phone. Quite often I use it for both work and to get hold of my husband, hold my kids, hold my mother. According to the Pew Research Center, six out of every ten adults have a smartphone, up from 35% in 2011. Constantly have it on me, constantly checking my emails with it constantly on it. As the use of smartphones continue to increase, so do the studies linking cell phones and cancer. I'm sure there's something else to it if they're doing studies on it. Six states have tried passing laws that would require cell phone carriers to put warning labels on its products, warning people about possible links to usage and cancer. Pennsylvania lawmakers tried and failed to pass the right to know cell phone law in 2011. And one of the big reasons why you won't see the warning labels on your cell phones today in Pennsylvania is because of the lobbyists who made it too difficult for lawmakers to pass that bill into law. Big business is always going to do what's best for big business. And unfortunately, you know, normal people get caught in the crossfire, so it doesn't surprise me now. City Council in Berkeley, California, is looking to become the first city in the country to require the warning labels. Cell phone users in Pennsylvania say companies should have the warning labels on packages if cancer is a concern. It has to do with the public. Put it on there. You know, let me decide. At least I know what's going on with it. The FCC recommends keeping your phone 5 to 25 millimeters away from your body to prevent exposure.